let me move on to lesson number eight so friends till lesson number seven we have completely solved the problems that is based on words but here the lesson number eight is going to be on the concept called problems that is based on numbers so friends it is also one of the important concept in the topic called permutation so friends let me move on to lesson number eight question friends listen carefully uh, we can separate this lesson number eight into two categories one is a uh, non-zero numbers and also the second category is zero numbers right okay so friends just see the question how many ways three digit or four digit or five digit etc can be formed so friends listen carefully in lesson number one till lesson number seven the question is like in the format called how many ways the word can be arranged but in this lesson number eight we can see the question how many ways a three digit number can be formed if the question that is based on a number they used to ask a question like how many ways a three digit number form how many ways a four digit number can be formed similarly five digit six digit or seven digit but when you take a word the problems that is based on a word they used to ask a question like how many ways the word can be arranged so this is the difference between the problems on based on the words and the problems that is based on numbers so friends the concept is same but you need to learn some of the important concept uh, in this topic right so friends what is called as non-zero numbers so friends think that they have asked a five subdivision question and listen carefully in every subdivision we can't able to see the number zero so this is called as type number one if it, it has zero in this question then it should be used in different cases right so let me move on to the sum of the question with as non-zero numbers okay friends listen carefully they have given a four numbers assume that they have given one comma two comma eight comma seven they are just asking a question how many ways a four digit number can be formed by using a number one two eight seven so friends can you say the answer how many ways a four digit number can be formed by using this number that is one two eight and seven so friends if i need to frame a four digit number then definitely i should have four numbers right four digit number it should have definitely four numbers here in the given question four numbers we need to frame a four numbers so four places according to lesson number seven friends most important concept there is four chair and there are four person what is the answer according to lesson number eight itself sorry lesson number seven itself we already told that only one chair three person only three ways there is a three chair three person three factorial ways similarly here we need to frame four numbers that is four digit number by using this four number so i can definitely say that the answer is four factorial ways this four number can be placed here okay let me move on to the next question so friends they have given a number called 2 comma 1 comma 4 comma 6 comma 9 just asking a question how many ways a five digit number can be formed so friends they have given a five numbers and we are, we need to frame how many five digit number can be formed so the answer should be five factorial clear on the point friends okay let me move on to the third subdivision so they have given 2 comma 3 comma 4 comma 2 right so 2 comma 3 comma 4 comma 2 so they are just asking a question how many ways a four digit number can be formed by using a number three comma four comma then uh, two comma two right okay so friends listen carefully in lesson number one we have seen one concept that repeated letters and non-repeated letters if there is a non-repeated letters we no, not to worry about it just count how many letters are there and we used to put a factorial if there is any repeated letters then corresponding factorial should be placed in the denominator similarly they are just asking a question in subdivision number three that how many ways a four digit number can be formed i used to say that so one two three four four factorial but don't stop after writing four factorial because in the given question two times number two is repeated so divided by two factorial I hope you can clear on this concept because you have watched lesson number one right without uh, watching my lesson number one you can't able to understand this concept okay subdivision number four one comma three comma then two comma four comma nine comma one they are just asking you a question how many ways a six digit number can be formed so friends they have given listen carefully one comma three comma two comma four comma nine comma one there are six numbers they are just asking how many ways a six digit number can be formed so there are given a six numbers but we need to frame a six digit right so six factorial but listen carefully friends two time number one is repeated divided by two factorial okay so friends let me move on to fifth concept that is most important concept they have given nine three seven four one they have given a five numbers right okay here we, they have given a four number and we framed how many four digit number can be formed similarly five number five digit four number four digit six number six digit just have an example that they have given a five numbers 
how many ways a three digit number can be formed so friends listen carefully they have given five numbers but they are asking us to frame how many three digit number can be formed you know that according to lesson number six and lesson number four we have learned one formula that is npr n factorial divided by n minus r factorial similarly they have given a five numbers but our target to frame only three digit numbers so i can say that there are totally five numbers so five p3 where this three represents a three digit number can be found so friends 5p3 can be written as 5 factorial divided by 5 minus 3 factorial that is 2 factorial. So the final answer is 5 factorial divided by 2 factorial. Just assume that they have given a 5 numbers. They were asking us to frame how many 2 digit number can be formed. The answer is 5p2. How many 4 digit number can be formed. The answer is 5p4. That is the concept. right? If there is any repeated letters then sorry any repeated numbers then definitely divided by the corresponding factorials. I hope you can understand this concept clearly friends. So friends listen carefully. Assume that they have given 6 numbers. For an example I am saying right. There is an another number called uh, 6. Okay just assume that there is a number 6. Now they are asking a question. How many ways a 2 digit number can be framed. So just see how many numbers are there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. There are 6 numbers. But they are asking only how many ways a 2 digit number can be formed. So 6P2. How many ways a 3 digit number can be formed. 6P3 got the point friends if there is any repeated letters just assume that here here there is number 9 so 2 times number 9 is repeated divided by 2 factor that is the concept right so friends let me move on to the question that the given question has a number 0 let me move on to one of the most important concept on the topic called permutation so friends uh, just assume that they have given a four numbers that is four comma two comma nine comma six they are just asking how many ways a four digit number can be formed it is an easy question everyone can say that answer is four factorial so four factorial can be done as four into three into two into one so finally the answer is 24 if you have watched my lesson number one till lesson number seven everyone can easily say that the answer is four factorial 24 but my advice just understand the concept friends how we are getting number 24 right how we are getting a 24 ways this number can be framed why because if you know this concept only you can solve a question which has an odd level right so friends listen carefully uh, they have given a number 4 comma 2 comma 9 comma 6 we need to frame a four digit number so friends by using this number i am just placing number 2 at the first position friends listen carefully i am just placing number 2 at the first position right if i place number 2 here I am just assuming the remaining numbers that is 496 can be placed or 496 or 946 whatever the remaining numbers can be placed. So friends if I place number 2 initially that is in the first position then I can surely say that this 4 digit number is in the range of 2000 right. So friends if I place number 4 initially if I place the remaining numbers here and here so definitely I can say that this 4 digit number is in the range of 4000. Right? Just, just assume friends, if, if I place number 2, right, the remaining numbers are 946. I am just placing 2496. I can say this number as 2496. So I used to call this number as it is in the range of 2000. So it is in the range of 4000. So if I place number 6 initially, this is in the, is this number, this 4 digit number is in the range of 6000. So if I place 9, so this is in the range of 9000. So friends listen carefully if I place 2 in the first position right there are remaining 3 numbers that is 4, 9 and 6. This 4, 9, 6 can be placed in this 3 places in 3 factorial ways right 3 places 3 numbers so 3 factorial ways only 1 place 1 number that is 1. We know that 3 factorial is 6 so 1 into 6 the resultant will be 6. So only 2000 there are 6 numbers can be framed. Similarly, if I place number 4 initially, only one place and there are only one number. So, one possible, right? And there are three places. We know that the remaining three numbers are 2, 9, 6. This remaining numbers can be placed in the remaining place in three factorial ways. We know that three factorial is 6. So, 6 into 1 is 6. Similarly, in the range of 6006 6 numbers, in the range of 9006 6 numbers, so 6 plus 6, 12, 12 plus 6, 18, 18 plus 6, 24. So, totally there are 24 numbers framed by using a number so friends this is the easy logic right but my suggestion if you want to go for the concept called if the question has zero numbers so definitely you should know this concept or otherwise you can't solve this question uh, after writing this a question they are asking a question that how many numbers are greater than 4000 so friends listen carefully how many numbers are greater than 4000 right so i can say that greater than 
4000 4k okay they're just asking a question how many numbers are there if their numbers are greater than 4000 so friends listen carefully greater than 4000 here yeah, there are six numbers right so greater than 4000 should be also 6000 and also 9000 so 6 plus 6 plus 6 so totally there are 80 numbers that are greater than 4000 so friends they are asking how many numbers how many four digit numbers less than 4000 4k right so less than 4000 so friends listen carefully if it is less than 4000 you should not take 4006 numbers it should be less than 4000 so less than 4000 should be 2000 so we know that in the 2000 range there are six numbers are formed so the answer is six so friends clear on the point if they are just asking a question how many numbers are how many four digit numbers are formed greater than 6000 so i should say that 6006 numbers 9006 numbers so totally there are 12 numbers if they are asking a question how many ways a four digit number can be formed that the number should be less than 6000 if it is less than 6000 you should not count the 6000 numbers right less than 6000 that is 4000 and 2000 so 4006 numbers 2006 numbers so there are totally 12 numbers are framed that is less than 6000 so friends i hope you can understand this concept if you understand this concept then the remaining category that is the remaining types will be so easy let me move on to the most important concept on the topic called permutation friends listen carefully in many competitive exam you can able to see this question how many ways a four digit number can be formed by using a number that is 2 comma 0 comma 4 comma 9 so friends uh, in previous case we know that in the given question there is a number there is no number 0 right but here they have given a number 0 so friends if i am asking a question how many ways a four digit number can be found by using a number that is 2 comma 0 comma 4 comma 9 everyone answer is answer is 4 factorial that is 24 that is exactly wrong so friends previously i have just explained you a simple concept right listen carefully we need to frame a four digit number right so if i need to frame a four digit number so friends listen the concept carefully friends okay initially i can place a number 2 so this is in the range of 2000 you know that the remaining 0 4 9 can be placed even in three factorial ways that is 6 in the previous case one similar to previous case friends they are asking how many ways a four digit number can be formed right if i place a number 4 initially then it is in the range of 4000 you know that again six numbers are formed in the range of 4000 if i place 9 in the front you know that again this is in the range of 9000 so six numbers are formed so friends here they have given a number zero if i place a number zero initially if i place the remaining number for example i am writing two four nine right whether it is a four digit number or it is a three digit number so friends they are talking about how many ways a four digit number formed but here if i place a zero in front then it is not a four digit number it is a three digit number so in the previous case with non-zero numbers the answer is four factorial but here if they have given a number zero but the answer is not four factorial so the answer is six plus six plus six that is totally 18 numbers are framed so the final answer that is 18 four digit number can be framed by using a number that is 2 comma 0 comma 4 comma 9 so friends i hope you can enjoy this video and you have understood and you have learned a new concept that is problems based on numbers so friends after watching the lesson number one till lesson number eight i hope that you have uh, have a little bit confident on solving a permutation topic so friends after some days let me move on to some of the miscellaneous questions on the topic called permutation so friends thank you so much for watching all the videos from lesson number one till lesson number eight so friends if you really want to encourage me just share all my videos to your friends who are all learning for a competitive exam so that you can help them also by learning from my youtube channel thank you so much for watching my video bye